Which Oracle deck is the best? Original Odyssey versus the Sovereign Oracle. We're going to talk about the physical characteristics of these decks, the author, artist, um, publisher, and stuff like that. Now, these two I paired together because they're little decks. They are um, both self-published, and... um, Full disclosure, the one on the left, the original Odyssey, is one that I made. So we'll start with The Sovereign Oracle by Teresa Pridemore. And um, I think she launched this on... Um, sorry, um, 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 um... I should have write this down before I start. Kickstarter. And from there you can go to her website and you can purchase these. And I think she has different types of um, decks. It comes in a little box. I got one that also had a bag. The cards are really tiny, um, which is cute. And there's a lot of them. And like my deck, this one aims to kind of help you with your creative workflow and creative process. So it's a little bit like an oracle, but you um it has more text on it and it's sort of geared toward encouraging you to explore your own creative process each card has three little inspiring sentences on it um one inspiring word and then an image that is either a stone or a crystal or a shell that's in the background i think the background of this one looks like it is labradite which i have on my desk right in front of me So I love these little cards. Um, My cards are a little bit more playful. They divide into three different suits, and they're also intended to help you with creative activities. So this one, for example, is a prompt to write. And um, I also put into it a puzzle with no key. Uh, So there's sort of like this lesson to remind us of how difficult even something simple can be like putting a puzzle together if you don't have um, a picture ahead of time if you don't know what you're looking for so um, the illustrations are hand done the paper is intended to be written on and um, drawn on so it's a soft um, recycled paper and I usually include like a little pencil in a bag and um, so it's kind of like a journal. So these two decks are sort of alternative and really geared toward trying to help you boost your creativity and um, yeah, creative adventures, like start making things and writing things and singing things and acting things and all of that good yummy stuff. So now that we're at the end, Um, you know, I would have to say that the best oracle is the one that you choose to use. And I have both of my collections. So if you're like me, you might have to get both. Thanks for watching.